one doing today? I'm just uh, out helping the chores this morning. And uh, I got a cattle sale we're watching this afternoon. Actually, two of them. Gonna look at buying some cows. And currently, I'm gonna be checking the cows we've got on corn stalks. You guys are gonna come along with that. Looks like the old girls are coming in for water. Got our electric fence here. This is one paddock that we use for grazing stock. It actually runs a, um, this field a half mile long that goes that way and then it crosses the section line road and it runs another half mile on this side or over half mile on this side. A couple hundred acres of corn stock. Well, you guys aren't terribly thirsty. Maybe they just want some feed. I'm just turning her down. Oh. Here you go. See, these cows are happy. But, I'll use someone asked earlier on a different video um, about our watering situation. We do have a big truck. We do haul water too on fields that don't have, uh, that don't have, uh, um, fields that don't have a tank on them. I don't know if I can get up through here or not. I haven't been up here since we moved them, so. But, anyhow, this, this isn't the most convenient field because we got to have them cross this section line road, but it is a minimum maintenance road, so we do have gates and police so people can get across. You think, girl? That's a cow that I bought last year. She's a 900 number. She's been a good cow. All my cows that we bought, I put different takes in so I can keep track of which ones are what. Not that it matters a whole lot, but it is nice to know which ones are on the short list and which ones are on the short, short list. Cows in my book, they don't they don't get many chances. Um, they gotta earn their keep, so to speak, and and stuff. So yeah, but, yeah I'm gonna get this gate open and uh, yes, I'll just take you guys along with with it. I probably should shut it. I'd hate for my cows to get out of my big pile of bales there. My, my luck. But it's not a huge deal on checking these cows every day, but since uh, we just want to make sure that none of them fell through the dam. They do have some, uh, not dams, but dugouts or whatever. And the ice isn't really thick enough yet for them to walk across. And yes, they could drink out of them, but since we have a water tank with fresh water, that is much healthier for them than, uh, than uh, um, drinking out of these old dirty dugouts. But I'm not saying if I didn't have a choice, I would not use them, but a lot of times we use both. This here is a uh, alfalfa field. Then there's a corn field, then a the soybean field, then clear way up there there's another corn field. Ooh. 
this we chased the cows across this field and we relocated the cows to a different field that was across the section line road not appear there's any cows in the dugout that's a good thing uh, the weather here has been pretty decent um, we had some terrible winds I think like most of the country here a couple of days right now it turned out to be pretty nice you're one of the bottom ones too aren't you oh yeah uh, you're, you're a bottom cow Trying to decide what to do with these bot cows, whether they should just go back to town or what. I haven't really decided. But there is some corn out here. Um, they lost the pheasant on the strip. This field, and this is one of the fields that had pheasant on the strips. Oh, about a month or two ago, sometime before we got it harvested, the wind was pulling 900 miles an hour again. Um, actually, the same wind so we blew that auger down that I made a video of. And, uh, anyhow, it, uh, it knocked a bunch of the corn off where, where, uh, where we left it. So it's not all over the place, definitely not the best. See and see there's still snow out here, but they, they'll dig through when they get hungry. You can see the way they're laying around, they're pretty content. Anyhow, I guess I'll give you guys another shot of the cattle on the way out. I'm just going to go check this other dam, make sure there's not something in it. See on the next part. Well, I just got towards the other dam here, and I just thought I'd show these cattle too. They just seem pretty happy. It's nice having. Let me see your take. No, nope, you're not a bot. You guys having a dance party? Not use them for water much, as we have to. It's mainly for wildlife habitat, some pheasants and deer and different things. But out there is uh, number 35 blue. It's Katie's favorite cow. She doesn't have an ear tag. Well, all right, guys. I guess uh, I won't bore you with any more cows for the day, but just thought I'd show you um, them out on stocks. And basically, they'll hopefully be on stocks until we're calving, and maybe even maybe even be on stock while we're calving if the weather's nice. But we will see. So, hope you guys enjoy this 
little video on the cows and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out, Girl Scouts.